And I'm Wyatt Elliott from Notebook Entertainment. And this is the Horrorland News. Alright, so we're back. New year. Kind of new us. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we haven't learned any new tricks. So. <laughs> we don't change that much. The set a little bit, a so little make bit, sure you make sure you watch our set tour. That's uh, description somewhere. below. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Last video before this one. Right. So we're gonna be a little iffy today because we, you know, it's our first day back after two weeks off. And it's super cold here, it's so our brains super are frozen. Cold here, you guys. So cold. Yeah. So blast um, the heat up. Yeah. So. We'll go ahead and just let you know, coming up on Notebook Channel this week, we have Saturday, a review this of the Chucky TV series. Mm-hmm. You already know we liked it, yeah. so spoiler Yeah, spoiler, we but liked it. now hear all the details and everything that we loved about it. That we could remember. <laughs> but watch the show first, because it's full of spoilers. For reals. All right, and then Tuesday, we ha we're going to have another review this for Day of the Dead, which we've been talking about mm -hmm. repeatedly. Yep. That one we're not so crazy about, but, it'll you know. be It'll be a very entertaining review. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then Wednesday, we're going to have Thanks We Hate It, and our topic is going to be Worst Disney Movies. So Hi, Zed. <laughs> so we're ready to make some enemies out there. I'm not... She is. With our worst Disney movies. Yeah. yeah. I'm oh, gonna... Alex and I, we're ready to go. Yeah, I'm going to let them do that. <laughs> um, And then Thursday, we're going to have... There. You happy? No. <laughs> He's a grumpy kitty today. Steady. Yeah, just leave it be. Lay down. Oh, you're, you're a cat. You're not a dog. <laughs> All right, there he goes. There you go, just All sit right, right off set, yeah. perfect. And then Thursday we have an awesome surprise. Our second slasher advocate mm -hmm. will be premiering and I will be defending Billy and Stu from Scream yeah. because that seems very appropriate right now. Very appropriate. We're super stoked to see the new Scream movie and this is the best way we know how to celebrate it. And then. Through the next month or so, we should be able to do the other Screams yep. slash yep. Advocates as well. I'm going to so. defend every single killer in the Scream universe one by one. <laughs> or two by two, depend right. depending on the movie. Right. Fair. <laughs> fair. All right. All right. So let's move on to TV Roundup. No TV and no beer make Homer something something. All right. So we're still um, watching Owls. We're doing a couple episodes at a time so that we're not... Rushing through it because we're busy and we need stuff to talk about. Because frankly, the holidays got busier than we thought they were going to. We thought we'd have all this downtime to watch these shows and we did not. At all. So, we're still playing catch up. But we're, we got, we're, we're getting we're there. We're getting there. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, so, the other show I want to talk about is not out yet. But it's called All of Us Are Dead. And it's a new Korean show coming to Netflix at the end of this month on January 28th. And they're going to put all eight episodes up at once so you can binge it all at once. I don't know how we'll do it, but... You see how entertaining we'll figure, it is. Yeah. If it's awesome, we may binge it yeah, all at once. Yeah, squid, if it's like Squid Game, we're going to... Yeah. If we can binge watch nine hours of Squid Game. <laughs> right. But we'll see. This It looks cool. Like The yeah. trailer looks really badass. Yeah, it's, so if you haven't seen the trailer, watch the trailer. But it's about a group of students who are stuck at their school during the zombie apocalypse. And it's based off of a Korean cartoon called Now at Our School. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Very well cool. that was what was in the article. I don't know. I've never heard of it. So I'm going just, off what the article said. I just watched the trailer. So I had no <laughs> idea anymore about that. She does the research. So... Uh, sounds good to me. Yeah, so that will definitely be on our TV roundup again once it comes out. We just wanted to make you aware of it if you're not, because why not? Yeah, <laughs> you can watch along with us and tell us in the comments on what whether you thought. You, yeah, of the whether show. you liked it or not, because yeah. Korea has been killing it lately. So they, you know. Yep, they really have. All right, so let's get to our main news section, and we already kind of mentioned it at the top of the show, but our Biggest news article is that Scream is coming out next week. Mm -hmm. uh, we already have our tickets for Thursday. 
Uh, so we're going to see it as soon as possible. So uh, honestly, I'm hoping to have the review out by Friday or Saturday. Yeah. Once it, uh, it's released. Uh, our goal is to go see it, come, come back home, here film. immediately <laughs> and film our reactions to it. So yep. I think that's been very successful for us. And uh, I think you guys appreciate that. Too. Keep an eye out for that. But I, I can't even tell you guys how excited I am. I love Scream. I love Scream. It's in like my top three series. Yeah, so if you guys have been watching the show, then you know what the Slasher Advocate's going to be after Scream, but we'll let you be surprised yeah. in case you forgot. All right, so our next uh, topic is a movie called Dear David has just finished filming, and some of you may say, hmm, that sounds familiar. <laughs> That's because Dear David is based off of a Twitter story that was written by BuzzFeed employee Adam Ellis, and he just wrote a series of tweets that turned into this ghost story. Uh, it started in summer of 2017, and he carried it all the way through winter of 2018. That's amazing. Um, he wrote about a dead ghost child that wanted to kill him. Oh. So that's what it's about. Awesome. And then uh, the movie, everybody, you know, in the comments was like, hey, this would make a great movie. So they're like, okay, let's That's make a great it. movie. Uh, so it's being produced by BuzzFeed Studios and Lionsgate. Wow. Uh, it's starring Justin Long as the head of BuzzFeed. No. Oh, okay, cool. And Augustus Prue as Adam Ellis. Sweet. So we got some horror icons in there. <laughs> Justin Long's a horror icon now. He did Tusk. He did what? <laughs> Tusk. Tusk. Oh, yeah. no, he did, Jeepers uh, Creepers yeah, too. Jeepers yeah. Creepers. Yeah, so he, he's definitely a horror icon. Um, and it's being directed by John McPhail, uh, written by Evan Turner and Mike Van Ways, which is, and it's all based on the tweets, on Anna Malice's tweets. That's so that's awesome. kind of cool, because it is, they, they kind of, cat crossing, <laughs> <laughs> they've kind of labeled, um, this Dear David tweet story as the first Twitter, um, urban legend so i'm excited to see if this works out and how many people are going to start telling ghost stories on twitter because i will read all of those threads you guys i was gonna say we're gonna start one if it's successful enough on twitter so because <laughs> <laughs> we got some ghost stories we could tell so yeah true ones well some some are yeah for you for sure all right, so our next topic is going to be another movie coming out sometime this year. There's no set release date for it yet. Uh, it's called Curs R, C U R S, and then just capital R. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah. I think that's how you say the title, Curs R. Cursor. Maybe? Cursor. Yeah, yeah, I think it's supposed to be like Cursor, right. but it's Curs R. I don't know. Um, it's coming to Netflix. Uh, it was filmed in England last year. And one of the people in it is Robert Ungland himself. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Um, it's starring uh, Asa Butterfield, who, if you watch Netflix, he's in that sex education show. Uh, and then Kate Fleetwood, who, if you watch Amazon Prime, she's in the Wheel of Time show. Uh, and Robert Ungland. And he's credited as playing himself. So, <laughs> okay, I'll go meta with you. Yeah, it's not his first trip down Meta Road. For, right, for Robert. Not, not at all. Uh, it's written by Simon Allen, directed by Toby Meekins, and that's his, this will be his directorial debut, so he Sweet. hasn't done anything yet, so we'll see. <laughs> uh, but I guess Netflix acquired this movie in, like, a, a million dollar deal or something last year, uh, so they must believe in it? Right, it must be good, <laughs> it must be good then, usually, I mean... If it's a first-time director and stuff, but the fact you get Robert Englund in it, it must be well produced. Yeah. It, maybe there was a bidding war or something. I don't know what that's it was. Good but for them. Yeah, I think it was like one point some million dollars. They it was it was acquired with some other stuff too. I think. Okay, but, that makes sense. Um, so it's about a broke student who, in pursuit of an unclaimed hundred thousand dollar prize, plays an obscure nineteen eighties survival computer game. Oh. Oregon Trail, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> Does he die of dysentery? Right. <laughs> After a series of unexpectedly terrifying moments, she soon realizes she's no longer playing for the money, but for her own life. Ooh. 
Yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm really digging this whole uh, games that are deadly right. thing that is happening now. Stay with Alive is still my favorite of that right. genre. But I love Stay Alive. I and I did like that movie, and she showed me that movie, and our good friend Courtney also endorsed that yeah, movie. Yeah, Courtney, <laughs> the first time we ever met Courtney, she's awesome. Um, if you're from the Rockford area, Rockford Buzz, mm -hmm. she talks hockey all the time. She's yeah. so knowledgeable about hockey. Um, but the first time we ever met her, she was interviewing us for the Rockford Buzz, and we were just talking about horror <laughs> movies, and I mentioned Stay Alive, and I think, and like, she was like, oh my god, someone else who actually knows that you know, movie. And I hadn't seen it yet, so now I have two people telling me I have to go <laughs> home immediately and watch it. And, and we did, because I own yeah, it. Yeah, I think we did, so. Yeah, I was like, come on over, I own that movie. Yeah, so that was great, but I, I you know... We've mentioned before that we have ideas for reality show horror movies, oh, yeah. All and the time. I think that um, this is a good premise. I like to see where this is going. It's encouraging, and uh, I'm I'm down for all of it. So yeah, I think I think Unfriended too could be in that category because it's yeah. it's basically it's it's being haunted or or terrorized through your modern yeah you it, know, it's basically technology it's taking everything things that horror has always done that is everyday things that we take for granted and turning them into ways to die and right. horror and terror and because reality actually, shows are very common to us now this actually actually now that i'm thinking about it kind of reminds me a little bit of unfriended too because in that one he steals somebody's laptop and it turns out that they're in like this this human, you know, hunting game or something, or like they, the, uh, like all the rich people are bidding on on who dies, and and it's like a game about killing people across the world or something. I I don't remember. I only saw that movie once. I saw the I first one. I saw that first one a lot. I only saw the second one once. Yeah, you showed me the first one. Yeah, because it, it was really good. It was so great. Inspired me to do an FML about right. it immediately. <laughs> but Not the second it, one. But. But the second one is that, and he realizes, oh shit, they're coming to get me, and they're they're targeting his girlfriend, okay. and so what started online is now in real life, and so that's what this is reminding me of. That's awesome. But one thing I always say is that, you know, there is no bad ideas or even copying other ideas, it's execution. So you can have an idea that's similar to, to what's already out there, it's how you execute it and make it your own and different. Yep. So I, I, I'm interested in this. We'll definitely have to check it out, for sure. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. <laughs> All right, and next week we're planning on going to see, we again, something we've been planning to do for a while now, but we're mm -hmm. going to go see... Um, Nightmare Alley. Nightmare Alley. So we'll yep. have a review of that as well sometime. Well, I don't know. Yeah, we're dying to see it. <laughs> dying we really to see hope it. it's still playing in theaters because, right. again, we just got so swamped down with... Right, and then it got really cold, you guys. Yeah, super cold. So if you guys are where it's cold, stay warm. Yes. Because it is... It, it yeah, I had to take blankets cold. over my windows. It got cold. It is awful. So, um, And also because of that and the transition, we don't have an indie film no. to talk about right now. We do have some that we want to talk about, yep. but we'll pick that up again next week. Yeah, we want to be able to give them the, the time proper, and yeah. everything they deserve. We were so. going to rush it, and it just didn't, wasn't fair to them. So no. we're not going to do that. We're going to make sure we watch them. Because that's only we have a list of movies that we found that we want to watch. Exactly. And so, but Okay. So that, yeah, that pretty much does it for us. <laughs> We've got like 50 million other things we got to get to it. That's our show for today. Thank you for watching. Please <laughs> subscribe, like, hit the bell, that yep. kind of stuff. Because clearly, as we've stated, we have lots of content coming your way. So you're going to want to make sure you're on top of it. Um, if you Please leave us a comment. Yep. We would love to get more interaction from you guys. If you know of a horror story we haven't covered yeah. or something that's coming out, or mm -hmm. if you have an indie film that you would like us to cover that's in the horror genre. That would be fantastic. And all, Or <coughs> um, here's another idea. If you guys have questions about, have you heard anything, what's going on with the update of the Jeepers Creepers remake? Here's an example. Yeah. Let us know. We can research it and find out for you. So... On that note, thank you guys for watching so much. We do appreciate it. Thanks for welcoming us back. Thank you for having us back. <laughs> All right, good night and good fight. Bye. We can't do this new scream justice if all three don't come back. I read the script. It was quick and sharp and funny and scary. <laughs> this film feels like the first scream. Really excited for Nev to come back where she's like this badass. I won't sleep until he's in the ground.